Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We're back with some more uh, exclusive content. Leon, Jason, and Pierre here. We're joined by Kyle. Um, we're, we're here to bring you guys some exclusive content. Hope you guys enjoy. Pierre, take it away. Man, if you're um, if you're uh, like up to your ears in MLB hats, and then <laughs> up to your chest in MILB hats, might as well start throwing some Mexican League baseball into the mix. And, you know, listen, I, I really contemplated what do we do here? Do we turn this into a tutorial for us on how to pronounce um, these Mexican team names? Um, do, we, do we butcher them? Or do I find a Puerto Rican man to narrate <laughs> Mexican baseball? So, um, so, you know, I, I, so I figured why not? Yeah, I, I don't want to say close enough, but I, I think, you know, they speak Spanish, right? right. So both Puerto Ricans yep. and Mexicans speak Spanish, so might as well get my best Spanish-speaking friend um, <laughs> on to uh, narrate here. So, um, listen, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I was looking at these names, and when Jerry sent me the list of hats, right, I'm like, no, this is this ain't <laughs> this, this is not happening, right? Nah, this ain't happening. I, I, I mean, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, before we get into this, right, um, these Mexican League teams have some great, great logos. So mm -hmm. there's two leagues that were um, that are represented in this collection. And so, so I think two of the teams or, or a couple of the teams – play in uh both leagues right so yeah um we'll kind of go through that as we as we get started here uh but uh why don't we start with the pronunciation of the leagues how about you start with that kyle so what are the two leagues so the first league is the lmb which is mm -hmm. the liga mexicana liga mexicana ba de baseball Ooh, so that's nice the lmb All and right. then we got the lamp which is the liga alco mexicana Del Pacifico. That was beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. So, imagine what would have happened if Jason Mead or I tried to pronounce that. Yeah, my my uh, couple years of uh, high school Spanish. It would have not. Isn't going isn't, isn't to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And look, at Jason's already prepared his bins for some yeah. Mexican League baseball hats. Look he's at getting him. ready for the, the haul. He's like, he's ready, man. He's ready. So mm -hmm. you ready to get started here, guys? We got the teams queued up. Now you're going to see my ugly face in uh, full high definition. Um, and we're going to have uh, Kyle um, close caption for the Spanish impaired. Um, all right, let's start here. So this is the Diablos Rojos de Mexico. You know what's great about these two? Gray unders. Gray unders. That's yeah. it. That's that's nice. Look at this. What wow. a beauty, right? This got this just feels devilish. And I think I'm pretty sure that's what Diablos. <laughs> Diablos, yes. You're right. You're right. So it means uh red devils of Mexico, right? That that's right. Yeah. Oh, it's written. There. I, I, I put the that. I put the English translation. Oh, you should put the Canadian the French one too. <laughs> All, right. Guys, all right, so what's next? What team's next? So the next team is the Guerreros de Oaxaca. This has White Sox vibes to it, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Pin stripes sometimes, too. Yeah. Ooh, I like that little back hit. Jason Mead doesn't. I know. Is, I know. He's afraid people are going to go around, go, come yeah. around and call him Guerreros. <laughs> mm -hmm. And since I don't know what that means, I'm going to take it as an insult. It means warriors. Warriors. Oh, just come wow. on, Jason Mead. Please try to get with the program here. It's written above the name. <laughs> now it's written in English and you don't know what it is? Come on, nope. man. I'm not, read, I'm not reading that. That's too much work. <laughs> All right. Next up. So the this, next one is. I love this. This is a great logo. The Saraperos de Saltillo. Jeez. Yeah, that one's nice. The serape wear. That's the rape, yeah. What the? That's a LMB. literal. <laughs> this is a really, really nice logo. That's, cool. That's nice. Logo. Jerry was uh, talking to me today. He's like, you know, this one didn't look good lockups, but it ended up being one of his favorites. I said, man, yeah. I got to agree with you. This is one of mine, too. That one is really nice. Really nice. All right. So now we move along here. This one here is the Tecolotes de los Dos Laderos. Jesus Christ, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> they recently changed their name, right? I think they added the two part recently. Yeah. Be just the owl. It wasn't, yeah, they, they, I wasn't there before. Got a Jersey front feel to it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, you couldn't translate Laredos, Leon? No. no, he couldn't because I tried looking for it too, and uh, <laughs> oh, it, oh, yeah. it, did not, it did not translate either. <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> All right. So the next team, I have like eight of these, eight, yeah. uh, eight um, different this hats. Is this is the team, but... the Toros de Tijuana. That's a, this is a one of the f- more fairly common Mexican league logos. Yeah. You'll find in the oh United yeah. States. Yep. I mean, you <clears throat> see a lot of those uh, Southern California uh, hat stores okay. carrying. Those. Yeah, because Tijuana is just right across the border. So border, yeah. I love this logo too. This one Thank here you. is the Leones de Yucatan. That one's Yucatan. Nice. Is that what is that? The That's peninsula? just a city in Mexico. Oh, this is just the Lions. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Lions. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I have a they're few pri- of this team too. Yeah, their primary logo is pretty cool. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. This I love this cool. letter logo too. That jersey shirt. Sure. All right, you guys ready? This one's a really cool. Mm-hmm. It's a nice, clean, simple. The mariachis de Guadalajara. Hey, Kyle, I got to tell you, man. <laughs> Your pronunciations are they're soothing. It's yeah. soothing mm-hmm. to hear you I, say I know, stuff. I know, you know, being Puerto Rican, I know we have terminology that might be a little, little different than, you know, Mexican people. So they might feel like I'm not pronouncing it the right way. Hey, cut me some slack. I'm Puerto Rican. It's, they're they're going to want to fight you like those Felix Trinidad yeah, yeah. and uh, Oscar De La Hoya <laughs> fights. Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> That's cool. So, okay. Yeah, this one's nice. This is the Tigres de Quintana Roo. Ooh. Beautiful logo nice. on this yeah. one. Look at that. How many jerseys can one team have? I know, right? You see that there? <laughs> <laughs> one, yeah. for, one for each position, I guess. Yeah. You know, one, one for each, one one for each sponsor, of, too. Sponsor yeah, too. you see all the sponsors all over the jersey. <laughs> All right. I this is a cool logo, man. too, guys. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the Bravos de Leon. That one's nice. You notice how it's an L and a B put together? That's cool. Yeah. Those guys look less annoying than the Astros. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I have to grab me one of those jerseys if I can find one. Yeah, me too. This. Cool. So their, their other jersey just says Leon on it. This well, really nice. I'm definitely not getting one of those. Yeah, that's the one I need. Is there any Mexican league teams with a jersey that says Jason on the front? Jason. <laughs> Jason. <I'm sure. laughs> All right. That's this one. might be my this might be my favorite. Oh, this one's the Pericos de Puebla. I have this with a black under. That one's so nice, nice, man. This thing is beautiful right here. That parakeet on the front pops. Mm-hmm. I can imagine playing for a team named the Parakeets. The Parakeets. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad high school nickname. Right? A bad yeah, high school is, team name. Come on, man. That thing looks bad. But that logo that, is That's there. a cool logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool ass but, logo. But, you know, you're facing the mighty Parakeets this weekend. Like, <laughs> it's just like fear in the heart. All right, Jason, relax. God. <laughs> All right, we got a little twofer here. This is the Sultanes de Monterrey. I think the reason why... Um, why our our uh, Spanish speaking brother Kyle likes this is because it looks like a stupid ass Yankees. Logo. Abso- absolutely, that that interlocking NY. Well, this one is yeah. a it is a M- Yeah, this this particular one has both logos on the back. Why is that, guys? That's that's they the play new, both new one. Yeah. Well, that's the new league logo. Too. Okay, that's yeah. the sponsorship logo. Gotcha. Yeah. But this this is one of the teams that is in both. LMB and LMB, both. I believe. Yes, yeah. so they have yeah. both. Oh, so okay. they have one. Yeah. Okay, they play in both leagues. How's that? Your... I have no clue. It's confusing to me too. So yeah, right. <laughs> this is nice though, right? Yeah. Uh, oh well, yeah. Fantastic. New York, New York Yankee vibes. Mm-hmm. This logo I like a lot. This is the Rielelos de Aguas Calientes. Is that hot water? Yeah, Agua Calientes, hot water. Hot water yeah. railroaders. Look at look at that. That Iowa high school Spanish. That's right, baby. Off. It came out. It came out. <laughs> water. This hot. is a nice one. This is a nice one. That's that nice. Nice and clean. That's nice. I like that logo. Nice black and silver, gray. That's. Uh, we've seen. Here, this here's another common one. Oh yeah, the Naranjeros de Hermosillo. If Leon was an orange, I'd be a grower from her Lomisilio. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. <laughs> nice, right? This is a beautiful that hat. That one's man. nice. Yeah, that one's really is. nice. Oakland A's this... vibes on this one. Oh, the Caneros de los Monchis. 
man, some of the some of the the nicknames of these teams are very literal. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, sugar cane growers. You see, it's got a like a. He got the sugar cane as a bat. That's yeah, dope. That. That's he's dope. To, he's about to take a swing at Jason Knee. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I know of Sugar King, and I'm just too scared because that's gonna break right now. <laughs> Sugar King, you can't just break like that. It's very hard. No, right. okay. Oh, listen. Well, here we go. Now Lee on the horticulturist. Yeah. This is like the Aguilas de Mexicali. Uh-huh. All right. So, so this, this one has is two, just right? the, Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. So the, that one is the alternate. That's the alternate logo, right? Correct. This thing is cool, though, right? That yeah. is. Mm-hmm. The first one, the first one you showed has, I don't know, uh, old, old fashioned, just classic baseball hat vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, almost like an Atlanta hat. It's got your Braves colors. That's why, yeah. Jason Mead. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. That's I, can a must. Read you, I can read you like a book, Mead. They can't. A bad. This book. one here. Oh yeah. Boom. Is the Yaquis de Obregon? Mm-hmm. The Yaquis no. doesn't have a translation. No, not that I found. Damn it! Yeah, that one's nice. That two tone. Yeah, I mean they're both nice. Both real nice. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I like the tonal logo on the back. Yeah, too. it's a cool touch. All right. This one here is the Tomateros de Culiacan. The oh, tomato growers. A tomato yeah. growers. That yeah. color is very specific. It's a really nice, rich. Yeah, like, like burgundy maroon, maroon, right? Or yeah. yeah. Mm. I like this. I would li- love to see that. See that logo that's on the on the slide right there. I'd love to see that on a hat too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. the actual logo, right? The tomato yeah. baseball. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool yeah. Well too. That is. All right. All right. So this one's got uh, Milwaukee. Um, Brewers vibes, man. This is my favorite uh, logo, I think, in this uh, in Mexican baseball. This team mm-hmm. is the Charros de Jalisco. This is great, right? Yeah, that's one. Mm. Oof, I like that, that one. Red, that blue one. Yep. These are great, man. Mm-hmm. This is probably my favorite. I, th- I think the two tone might be my favorite of them all. Yeah. The parakeets are a close second, but there's a lot of great logos here. Yeah. All right. So we round it out with. Uh, yep. This is the one. The Mayos de Navajoa. This one is sweet. So this is an alternate logo. New last year for them. Mm. Yep. So Super nice. Necessary. That one's good. All right. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be spending a lot of money with Verdeen's here in the, in the near the, future. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like I mean, way program or something. <laughs> <laughs> a payment plan. Yeah, I love yeah, it because are... it's different. It's different. You know, you you get mm-hmm. to kind of throw some more classic, cool looking logos um, outside of what we're seeing every day. And you know, mm-hmm. like I don't know, I love MLB hats. You guys know that. I love M- mm-hmm. MILB hats, right? But MILB hasn't been saturated yet, but. MLB has so you start to like you start to you know diversify a little bit by jumping into these uh Mexican baseball league caps. I think they're great. I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say. They're solid. I bet, I, yeah. Well, for one, I mean, it's it's been nearly impossible to even get these logos in the United States. And mm-hmm. two, when you let alone with a gray bottom, with yeah. the gray bottom, yeah. Usually they're the on field versions. You got the black bottom, but to see them with the yeah. gray bottom too, just yeah. Uh, so good. Oh uh, yeah, I would definitely dive into these. Um, you know, obviously not as deep as I did, but you know, there's I would dive into these. These are good hats. Um, you know, you get so like that, like like the mil- what's the name of the team? The the Charles. uh Charles. Oh the Charles de Jalisco. I mean, that logo is incredible. Yeah, that is. I mean, just look at this thing. They're they're both good. <laughs> they're look at both this. good. That logo is incredible, man. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, these are good, man. So the particulars are, um, in terms of release, uh, there's no set date for any one hat. Basically, what's going to be happening is over the next several weeks, he's going to be releasing them, from what I understand, on Saturdays. So um, I would expect to see some drop this upcoming Saturday after you after you all have seen this video. 
And then each Saturday afterwards, you'll see some more dropping um, as uh, as the weeks progress. So um, you'll have an opportunity to dive in here a little bit. And you know what? These aren't these aren't hype hats. So it'll be cool to see like something that I'm regular like everyday correct collectors can get their hands on, which will be mm -hmm. cool. Um, shout out to Jerry and his team at Burdines for doing something uh, different and thinking outside the box to do something really cool here. He's been on fire, man. He's been on fire. That Charles Barkley two pack, mm -hmm. the Chicago Sky four pack, um, you know the the Blackhawk hooks he did with the Chicago uh, Cubs and White Sox. I mean, he's been on fire, uh, and it's been fantastic to see um, uh, the notoriety that Burdines is getting in Chicago. Um, and we may have a collab coming with them uh, pretty soon too, um, perhaps, perhaps. Right. So perhaps. maybe making an appearance Rumors. in Chicago. Rumors. Yeah. <laughs> rumor ha rumor has it, rumor and we'll be making an appearance in Chicago as well, which will be great. Uh, nice. So, listen, uh, guys, this was great. I want to thank you, Kyle, for being, um, you know, helping the <laughs> Spanish, the Spanish speaking impaired. My uh, <laughs> uh, my gr my girlfriend would have uh, would have would have made fun of me endlessly um, <laughs> if I uh, if I tried to say those say those names. But happy you know, I can help, fellas. You know it. Yeah, no, we love having you as part of the VFTV family, Kyle, um, and a lot more, uh, a lot more than uh, than just uh, translation. No worries. You know, you're a great vlog partner, and you're always there when we need a, a helping hand. So thank you. No problem, um, Jason. Me, thank you. Uh, I see that you've prepared uh, the den for uh, more hats, which is fantastic. <laughs> and uh, Leon, you're really close to the camera. So with that, um, with that, uh, let's wrap this up. Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys let us know in the comments which of these hats um, are your favorite. Um, follow Birdie in Chicago for updates on release schedule. Uh, for Jason, Leon, Pierre, and Kyle, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.